Well, hello everybody, it's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. Well, we are in this series called Walking Daily with God. It's walking our life out, walking out all the circumstances of our life. Right now, I'm in Los Angeles and I'm here and this is where God has kind of put me and got me just at this point in time. And so I need to do this day with God right here. Now, for all of us, we're in all sorts of different places. Some of us are home, some of us are at work, some of us are traveling. And in every place, we're meant to make Jesus Lord. See, we've been talking about Lordship in the last few days. And what do I mean by Lordship? What do I mean by Lordship? Lord, when we declare Jesus as Lord, we basically say that he is over all things, all creation. Everything completely and totally is his. In Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, a verse that we hear often at Christmas, it says this, For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests on his shoulders, and he is named Wonder Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Again, for a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulders. Other translation says, and the government rests upon his shoulders. Uh, and he is named Wonder Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Lordship is something that I was introduced to. Now, you would have, if you listen to me, you would have heard me talk about many, many times. When, when the Catholic priest, when I was in my teen years, said to me, are you going to make Jesus the Lord of your life? In other words, are you going to put him in the central driving place in the most dominant part of your life? And in many ways, the Christian life is the whole working out all of our life of making Jesus more deeply the Lord of our life. It's looking through every part of our life and saying, Jesus, I surrender to you. Because where about where is the, the deepest surrender? The deepest surrender is in our heart. When I was younger, uh, we live with, with all of our energies and passions and, and all the things we're doing. And so often for me, when I examined my conscience, when I looked at the life that I was living, what I often would do was I would look at the, the things I was doing. It was always my activities that I was doing that it was that it, they were the things that I would repent of because I'd done this or said this or done that or hadn't done this. They were the things that I repented of. And as I heard someone talk about it today, and I've, I've spoken about it in the past, as you get older, some of those things become not issues for you. And you realize that the deeper sur there's a deeper surrender and it's the surrender of our heart, the inside of us and our will. It is laying our life down and saying, Lord, what is your will? What, is, what rule, what law, what government do you want to have in my life and over me? Lordship is a question of this constant, deeper surrender. And you've probably heard me say in the last few days, surrender, surrender, surrender. And the reason I have is because it's so difficult to do, to truly do. To, there are many people who attend church, never miss, but they wouldn't say that Jesus is the Lord of their life because they're two different things. A person who's made Jesus the Lord of their life will go to church, but there are people who have, go to church who haven't made Jesus the central driving force of their life. It is, it is a lens we look through. It is a heart given to God. I want to encourage you today, as, as we just talk very briefly today, examine your heart and ask the question, what's at the center of your life today? What's, at the, what's the most dominant thought, the most dominant emotion that you have right now? Jesus wants to be in that place. He wants to be that central thought, that central guide, all of that. The Lordship of Jesus is to acknowledge that he's completely, totally and utterly over us. Every desire we have, everything we should do, he's over us. That's what Lordship is all about.
Well, as we conclude today, I want to ask you, because I haven't in the last uh, couple of weeks because I've been traveling, is I just want to remind people and ask people if you would continue to help us to share the gospel. And you do that through your financial giving. And I'm very grateful for that. I'm very, very grateful for your giving uh, because it makes it possible for more people, uh, uh, more people um, to be reached, to encounter the presence of God because of the practical things. Now, remember we said a few weeks ago, we give to God and God gives to others. And you can stop and say, but oh, I'm, if I'm giving it to you, I'm just giving it to you. No, because it comes back to that question of the heart and our attitude and our action toward it. So I want to ask you today if you would give to all of our Faith Builder partners, the people who've set up a way, gone into our website, and they give every month. You, you're the backbone of the ministry. I certainly couldn't do this uh, without you. To all of our Faith Builders who give from time to time, I want to say thank you to you as well. You're making a difference in the lives of people. I meet so many people who say to me, I was touched when I heard when this happened in my life. And the truth is, it's because of you. Because I'm, I might be able to do this, but I can't do it unless you help me get there. And so together, that's what the body of Christ is. You play your part, I play my part. Together we play our part and the kingdom of God is advanced. I just want to thank you. You have saved people's lives. You have saved marriages. You have brought people to faith. You have caused people to turn from the things that they're doing by your giving. Your, different, your giving is making a difference in the world. Loving Father, I just pray as they go, as people go to the Give tab or to this address on the screen, I pray that you would anoint them right now and that they would encounter you more deeply. Lord Jesus, I want to belong to you from now on. I want, to, I want you to be the Lord and center of my life in all things that we do. And Father, we make this prayer in Jesus' name through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all, everybody. See you tomorrow. And don't forget, wherever you are, God's never, ever far from you.